A hot issue. It's not as hot as this raging fire, but it is political as hell in this country. No one knows more than you from the Southwest. Immigration. It's hot on talk, call, and radio. It's hot on cable. For some reason, the Congress is split on the issue to the point where you're not going to really enforce this country's uh, nationality, basically. People come in the country. Uh, they stay here. People, they break the law. And, and the Democrats don't want to touch it. The Republicans are afraid to touch it. It seems like nobody wants to get after this issue. Well, I think that the Congress uh, has failed on this issue. Uh, it is a critical issue uh, to our country, uh, both from an economic perspective and from a national security perspective. Uh, we need to deal with this issue. We need to secure the borders, but we also need to have a, an immigration policy uh, that deals with the employment needs of this country. The current system is broken, so we need to secure the borders. We need to have an employee verification system that uses biometric identification so we know whether somebody is here legally or not. We have to deal with the 12 million who are here um, illegally today. Uh, we cannot ship them home. What, what we have to do is make sure uh, that we put them all through a criminal background check. We make them pay a, pay a fee. Uh, but you need to take the amnesty part of it out and, and prove that the system works, that, that we are requiring people to learn English, that we are putting incentives in there for them to get a job with health care. And five or six, seven years from now, we can deal with the whole issue of green cards or whatever. But for right now, let's deal with the current problem that exists. Let's put politics aside. That's what the American people are asking us. No, don't be Republicans. Don't be Democrats, whether we're talking the war, whether we're talking health care, whether we're talking immigration. The American people expect us to act in their behalf. Do you think there are too many people in this country illegally now to absorb culturally? Well, I, I think that it's I mean, really right now, if you close the border right now effectively and only had the people that came up from the south right now, would they be able to become, you know, acculturated into an English language culture, et cetera, et cetera? Are you afraid? In other words, does anybody really want to throw people out who are already here? Well, I don't think that we should throw people out who are already here unless they have uh, committed serious crimes. And mm -hmm. those people should have background checks. But what should happen is we should inculcate people into our culture right. of what it means to be an American and teaching those those ideals that we've taught to immigrants you know throughout the history of the United States it's something special to be an American right. if, if we move to Japan we can never become Japanese but if somebody from around the world moves here they can become an American but what we're losing focus on Chris is we're losing focus for those new folks coming in on what it means to be an American right. and we need to reinstill that into our immigration system I have a simple plan senator tell me if I'm wrong everybody here is here anybody that comes here tomorrow has to go through these checks with real ID cards, checkable ID. They must be who they say they are or they can't work. Why, doesn't, why don't you pass that bill tomorrow? Who would that well, offend? Well, I actually think that that would be a, a, a good way to start. But you also, the, the 12 million people that are here, we can actually bring them out of the shadows if we make them go through a criminal background check. We make mm -hmm. them pay, pay a fine for, for what they have done since, they, since uh, being here illegally. We'll ship home the one, any of them that are serious criminals. Yeah. But those who are here require them uh, to, get a, to get a job. They can't be on any kind of welfare benefits at all. And I think that if you do that and you take the actual amnesty part, the part that allows them to get a green card, take that off the table for now. Let's, let's prove that the system of employee verification works, prove that they aren't you know, here criminals, that they are playing by the rules. And I think if you have a system like that in five or six years from now, the American people would be open uh, to addressing the green card issue. Well, the way it is now, they don't trust the Congress, they don't trust the government, because they believe in the end you guys will pander, in the end you'll give it away, and you won't have teeth in your bill, because you really don't want to buckle, take on the, you know what's going on, Senator, more Absolutely. than anybody. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Senator John Ensign of Nevada.